Hey everyone, how's it going today? I'm going to be showing you how to easily create a 90 degree bend. Um, this was an issue I was running into as I was actually myself developing a pipe kit, a modular pipe kit for a game I'm working on. And I found a really great solution that I just wanted to share with you guys um, to make it as easy as possible for you guys if you might be struggling with the same issue. So the first thing we're going to do is the best way to do modular stuff is to work um, with grids and work making sure that everything you do is snapped to a grid so that it's easy to line up in engine later. Um, so for example, I have grid lines every 50 units because I know that that's how often I'm going to want to move it once I'm in UE4. So it's easy as doing grid lines every 50 and I'm actually going to change that to one subdivision there just so that there's nothing in between or apparently there's one right in between um, so it'll snap every 25 okay cool so we're gonna select the vertices here and all I've done is just created a cylinder with 16 segments and I'm gonna take this guy all these vertices and I'm gonna move it to that's 50 100 150 200 and same over here, 50, 100, 150, 200. So now we have a 400 unit long pipe. Um, and this is great. So just so we have it good, I'm gonna freeze center pivot and clear history, just so that we're clear, it's a set pipe, nothing nothing done to it now. And um, what we're gonna want to do to it is a nonlinear bend, but you can see that if I move this into place, we're gonna have an issue because there's no <laughs> geometry to actually deform along and so you get these funky shapes so what we actually got to do first is give it some subdivisions so what I'm going to do is shift right click to go to the multi-cut tool I'm going to hit control middle mouse click to draw a line right in the center of our faces I'm going to go to edge mode select it I'm going to shift right click and go to bevel then I'm going to go to we don't actually need um, depends on obviously the level of complexity and how many polygons you want to work with um, but just so I don't have to clean it up later let's do six segments spread out over oops six segments spread out over the entire thing so I'm going to change that to one so now you can see there's six individual segments along the pipe um, we can even go up to eight why not um, okay again center pivot freeze history and clear transformations um, and Great, so that's our um, straight version of the pipe. So now, just as a visualization trick, what I'm going to do is create um, just some lines to be able to see where I want my pipe to end up in the end. So this is our straight variation of the modular kit, and we're going to have a 90 degree bend um, so that we can transition around corners and such. Um, and so the trick of looking at it like this is if we want it to start here and end here in our modular kit and engine. So um, now that we have the segments along it to be able to bend, we're going to do our deformation, nonlinear bend right here. Again, we're going to, just so we can visualize it, change that to 90. And let's rotate down. Great and this is actually not correct. We want to actually change that to 45, change our low bound to zero, and change our high bound to two. Great, and then we're gonna move um, the uh, move the bend to start actually here where we want the start of our pipe to start. So I'm gonna take the deformation and I'm gonna move it to right there. So that's now at the start of our pipe, okay? So now this is the 90 degree angle. We have the correct 90 degrees, but you can see that it's not in line with the grid anymore, and so it won't work for us very easily in engine. And so to fix that, and that's the problem I was having the whole time, is I could get this far, but couldn't quite figure out how to make it square to the grid again. So the easy solution to do that is we're actually going to um, select our deformation again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit D to edit the pivot. pivot. <laughs> We're going to move the pivot. I'm going to click on this axis so that I can middle mouse click and slide along that edge. And I'm going to hold down V so I can snap to a vertice. I'm going to snap to the end of our pipe as it currently sits with the bend. I'm going to hit D to exit the uh, edit pivot mode. Hold down um, V again or X, either one. You Basically, we're going to be getting to this point right there. And you can see that it creates a perfect thing. So you can either do hold down X or hold down V and then snap to this line here. Um, but as you can see now that's fixed our thing so it's still a 90 degree angle but it now is in line with our grid and it'll actually work 
fantastically for us. And this, though, is a great um, method for doing it, especially like if you have a much higher detail piece like I did before. Um, I'll actually show you that one. Um, if you're working with a much more complicated piece, it's greater to work in a um, method like this that does all the work for you instead of finagling the pivots back and forth until they work. Um, so you can see that because there were multiple pipes and multiple vertices that aren't in line and such like that, that it really just worked out better for me to do it this way. And it was actually very easy and uh, created a nice modular kit that I can then use in engine. So that's the trick there. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you have any other uh, questions about my workflow or anything like that, I'll be uh, tackling things like efficiency in Maya and other things, uh, other parts of my workflow in the future. Just let me know down in the comments if there's anything you specifically want me to tackle, and I'll get to those. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a great day, and thanks for joining.